it now not working. Um, well, welcome to my presentation. Our project is called Brain Notes. We try to do a interface, a connection between a BCI interface and uh, a, a digital um, music work workstation. And we are a group from, from Austria. And my name is Jacob Gren. Um, so initially we wanted to, to introduce the, the problem we tried to tackle. We tried to create an alternative option to modulate music while you're playing. So usually you do it by, by means of a pedal, but um, we try to do it with a, with a BCI. So you could um, control parameters of, 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 of parts of the music that support you by um, altering the tempo or the volume or selecting a certain track that should be played right now or adjusting a filter. This would also allow people with limited ability to move and um, to use these tools and use these support tools. So um, they could also freely um, express themselves in and use the support tools for their musical creation. Um, our idea solution was pretty simply. We, we use the Unicorn to acquire data, then use the Python API to process the data and then um, convert it data and send it to Ableton, which is a um, digital audio workstation, which would be able to adjust the tempo and, and speed of, the, of your backing track of the music you're playing right now. So you would be able to, to play a melody and adjust um, the speed of your backing track, for example, by um, we, we did it with a brain switch, like it was previously mentioned. Um, if you close your eyes, the, the, the beat and the speed would go down. And if you open your eyes, it would slowly ramp up, ramp up again. So you could um, alter and affect the, the backing track or another part of the music by, by just using your brain. Um, we, we, the, the way we implemented it was um, um, selecting a certain, we, we focused on alpha waves and um, because we, we, we thought it would be a very easy and distinct way of, of an easily controllable way to implement that, that switch of, of between on and off. And so um, yeah, between on and off. And we, we also managed to um, map all the data to the values that would, would have been input in, in to Ableton. But the problem with our realization was that the, the interface between Python and Ableton, um, we didn't get to manage, we get, didn't get, we didn't manage to get it to work. So um, our problem kind of um, struggled there, but we managed to um, um, shape and alter music in our offline environment. So setting a certain BPM and then um, remixing or reformatting the music to a different speed and then putting out the files. So that would already work, it just would not work in a live environment currently because the, the Python to Ableton connection, which exists um, doesn't work in the scope we envisioned it originally when we, when we thought of the project. Um, and just a short demonstration about how it, how it would look like in Ableton, so, so you can imagine how, how it would look. Um, so you could either um, select a loop that back or just a filter, just the sound of the, of the track. Or so finally, also change the speed. And these parameters will all be chosen um, as well by another selector. And, and the good view. There's as we, due to COVID constraints, we were kind of limited on the group picture. So we, so we had to improvise the pictures on Zoom and managed to get a kind of accurate representation how it looked like. <laughs> Looks very nice. Thank you very much. Does your team has professional experience with music because it sounded really good? Yes, Philip is a, is a PhD student at Brooklyn University. And so he is a professional musician and he was able to support us a lot in the, from the musical standpoint. 